start with the color blocking strategy if you don't always feel like wearing black. In order to do this, you need a cardigan and an underlayer. In order for this to work, you do want to make sure the color contrast is very obvious, like this one. Wearing a black cardigan over white underlayer. The key is to wear the cardigan open in the front. See, when you do this, your body is essentially divided into three columns. This is tricking the eyes into thinking your body is actually smaller. And in order for this to work, it doesn't mean that you have to always wear black cardigan. It's interesting if you switch the color of your cardigan and your underlayer, it still works the same way. Look at this one. If I wear a lighter color cardigan with a black layer, once again, this is another trick. Your body is now essentially divided into three different columns. The eye is assuming you are smaller than you actually are. Now here's a comparison. If I wear my underlayer and my cardigan are about the same color scheme, you don't see a very sharp contrast with those two colors and then you don't have the same obvious slimming effect. If you like this video so far, give me thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me thumbs down. I would like to know that too. If you're new here, I would love to have you back. So please hit that subscribe button. In order to make this outfit the most flattering on you, you also need to pay attention to the rule of volume. What that means is you only wear one piece of voluminous clothing at a time. Because of this cardigan is loose, already got enough volume, then you want to make sure your bottom should fit close to your body. It could be skinny jeans, leggings, cigarette pants, anything. You can even wear a skirt. You just want to make sure your bottom doesn't add more volume because your top is already loose. I have another video on this topic talking about how that makes a huge difference on all of your outfits. And this rule applies to anybody, but especially because if you already got curves and if you want to look slimmer, you really gotta watch this video. Necklines, this is probably one of the most overlooked. They can immediately make you look slimmer. See this one, if I'm wearing a turtleneck, because I'm covering my entire neck and the front of my chest, this makes me look bulkier. Now, I don't really have a very big bust. If you happen to be busty, this is gonna look even bulky on you. And the higher necklines make your chest the center of the entire outfit if you happen to be busty. So instead, what I always do is to roll down my neckline a little bit. You can see a little bit of my skin. And this immediately has a slimming effect. Now, my favorite is actually the low necklines. Sweetheart neckline, U necklines. The lower the necklines are, the better the slimming effect. This is something that I discovered a long time ago and ever since then, my go-to neckline is the V neckline. Now let's look at the Russian. In my view, this is one of the most genius design in fashion ever. I think whoever invented this design should get this Nobel Fashion Award for making women look and feel better. But when I first discovered the Russian design, I saw them in stores. I was like, hmm, this is an interesting design. Look at all these wrinkles. Who would like to wear that? Even though Russian looks kind of funny when they're hanging on hangers, but when you put on a dress or clothes with rouge design, the miracle is instant. Your body is gonna smooth out some of that wrinkles. The rest of the wrinkles is gonna be there, but they are the most slimming design I've ever seen. So here is how it works visually. When the eyes see all those wrinkles, it's gonna assume that's because of the fabrics and it's not gonna think it's because of your love handle. Isn't that smart design? This is a dress I got years ago from Nicole Miller. And ever since I discovered how slimming this is, I went all in. If I can find any dresses with ruching, I will get it. Because there will be occasions, a wedding guest, a party, where you want to wear clothes that's fitted close to your body. And ruching, I have discovered, is the most flattering design for anybody who wants to look more slender 
in a tightly fitted clothes. So here's a comparison. If I wear a dress with ruchin, you can clearly see a difference compared with the dress that doesn't have the ruchin design. If it doesn't have a ruchin design, it shows every bit of your stomach. So if you happen to have a midsection concern, like myself, then Russian is a cabin scent for you. And it's not just in dresses. You can also find Russian in some tops. You just want to make sure the ruched design is around the stomach. That's where you want to smooth out. You want your stomach to become less noticeable, then go with the ruched design in that area. A lot of times, if I gain weight, I tend to go with softer fabrics stretchy fabrics because that seems to be the most comfortable to wear especially when you got curves but here's the thing they are indeed very comfortable but they really do not do you any favor to control the shape so they don't serve the purpose of making you look more slender that's what i've discovered what does work is that you need to go with fabrics that is structured what does that mean? Structured fabrics, typically they are thicker. That doesn't mean they're stiff, but they do have enough weight so that they're not clinging to your skin. See, a very typical example of fabrics that do not have structure are the jersey fabrics. I know those are very popular, especially in the summer. They're so flowy and they're so comfortable. They really do not define your shape because the fabric is so stretchy. They go with your shape, but that's about it. I have found if I go with the thicker fabrics like this one, it's not stiff. It's still flowy enough. It follows your curves. It still gives you the shape you have. It's not clinging to your skin. It doesn't show what you don't want to show. I know this sounds quite counterintuitive, but try it yourself and you will notice a difference, a big difference. If you always gain weight around your buttocks or your thighs, go with straight leg or wide leg pants instead of skinny jeans. Because if you go with the skinny jeans or cigarette pants or anything that fit closely to your butt and your side areas, it's gonna show every curves you got. So that's something you have to decide. Is that something you wanna show? That's really a personal preference. But if it's not that something you don't want people to pay too much attention to, then you wanna go with white leg pants that hugs your hips and then skims over your hips and fall straight down from your hips. You wanna avoid anything that's clinging to your thighs or your legs. That is the most slimming pants if you happen to have a heavier bottom. A lot of times when we gain weight, when we don't feel like we're slender, it's very tempting that we would reach out for loosely fitted clothing. On the surface, you might think that they make you look less self-conscious about your body. But if the clothes is oversized, if they are loosely fitted, they actually add too much bulkness to your body. And that's never flattering to anybody, especially they will not make you look slimmer. It's quite the opposite. So it's really important if you want to look more slender, you really want to define your waist. Now, I know what you're thinking. If I could see your face, you are probably like, no way, when I gain weight, I don't have a waist. And I don't want people to notice. I am exactly the same way, so I know exactly what you're talking about. The way you define your waist is to use the shape of the garment to gently define your waist. You don't want anything too obvious. You don't want anything to draw attention to your waistline if you don't really have a very defined waist naturally. See, what I have found works really well is a faux wrap. Faux wrap is very clever design. I have a lot of wrap design, wrap sweaters, wrap dresses, most of them from Diamond Furstenberg. But what they notice is that the wrap goes around your waist, so it does create more focus to your waistline. If that's not what you want to do, probably want to skip the real wrap. I'm gonna go with the full wrap. What the full wrap does is like this blouse. It's one I got from Banana Republic and I absolutely love it. It doesn't go around your waist. It ties on the side. See, you have the same effect like a wrap top. It defines your waist in a very subtle way. It looks like you have a waist. But it doesn't go around your waist so it doesn't draw too much attention to your waistline. 
bias card has gotten very popular in the last couple of seasons. You may or may not know the name of the design, but you probably have seen them because they are literally everywhere. Most of them are in the satin dresses, the slip dresses, or the skirts. They're supposed to be one of the more flattering design, but what I've discovered is that they are actually not friendly to women with curves because what happens is this kind of design follows your body so closely, it literally shows everything. And it's especially obvious if your skirt or your dress happens to be very thin fabrics. So if you're into this kind of design, you really want to be very, very selective. You want to go with either thicker fabrics or a dress or the skirt that's not fitted too closely to your body. Another great way to look more slimmer in winter is to wear black pants or black jeans with black boots. When you do this, your bottom is going to form a long unbroken line. You can wear tall boots or booties. A lot of us love booties for the winter because they seem to be easy. But actually, it's quite the opposite. Booties actually is one of the hardest things to wear regardless of your height and your body shape. If you wear booties a lot in the winter, you need to watch this video because you need to know what to wear with booties so that they will not make your legs look cut off. I share with you all my secret styling tips in this video, how to look good in any booties.